Hi. So, um, Michael Elliott, you have sent me a challenge to put filter on Google Sites. So, um, started to go through YouTube videos on how to do it, and I'll update you on how far I've gotten. So, um, the first thing I've done is actually try and insert a Google Sheet onto here because I, I this is quite a new program to me and once you insert it this is how it would look like there is no filter and so after I have um, been on the YouTube and looking at all the different tutorial this is what I come up with so what I have done is um, let me see so what I have done is I have used the old spreadsheet which I don't really want anymore and I've imported or rather copy and paste some of the sample data which reflects a little bit more like our end product and if we go back to here um, I'm able to put in different types of filter onto here this is still very new to me, so everything will look very basic. And if I actually just go to preview, yeah, you can actually start to type in an item number. Now here, um, if you see, there's 1,800 different units. Okay, so if you start to use the filter up here you can see that the number is dropping down yeah that that one is for the item number dissection is the same dissection is here so if i actually put eight six five yeah the category have dropped down yep delete this and here there is a drop down and you can actually pick what you want uh to select so if it's new here you can actually see all the new items okay and then for brand action ready there's 117 ready so i'm just going to try and mix and match now okay nope let me see if i can yeah there's two so you can actually mix and match the different criteria and here is the item type um, you can just choose freezer and this is all the freezer and you can actually have this um, as the price range you can actually um, choose how much you want to pay for a product really and you can see the numbers are going up and down when I select it yeah so um, I think I've successfully um, done what you asked me to do but however I'm, I'm at a, actually at a very basic stage where this is still very new to me yeah um, I think I've done well for um, one or two, two or three hours of research. And as you mentioned, it, you can actually use this on the different mobile devices. So this one will be the mobile. This one will be the tablet. And this will be the larger screen. Because at the moment, everything is in the table form. But eventually, you can actually create it in a card form. Yeah. I think I've done quite well for two or three hours of uh, research. Thank you. Goodbye.